and thank you for coming. Thank you to the media for coming also. Um, Joe DiStefano, Mayor of the City of Middletown. And we're here today to uh, talk about some sad news and some great news. Uh, first, I'd like to introduce um, some of the elected officials here today. Uh, Council President Miguel Rodriguez, Alderman in the First Ward, Joe Massey, Alderman in the Second Ward, uh, Jerry Kleiner, and Rachel from Alien Gunther's office. We want to thank you for coming down from Sullivan County. And if I missed anybody, please let me know. I'm also here with Tony Danza, who is the, uh, the real Tony Danza from Middletown, uh, property owner of the Horton Complex, of, what we're in, of which we're in, and also Teresa Butler um, with the Middletown Community Health Center. And the reason for the press conference, and you had a little bit of a teaser last week in the newspaper, is that <clears throat> well over a year ago, we gathered on Lau Avenue uh, to talk about a, uh, and to introduce a, an exciting project for Middletown, uh, the Middletown community and the region in regards to not only health care but historic preservation. And that was the restoration of the O&W station on Lau Avenue and to historic standards. Um, it was a massive project. We all knew that at the time. The Middletown Community Health Center took on the project. The city transferred the property to them for a dollar with development goals to be met. Um, and unfortunately, um, due to a number of things, one being the increasing cost of the renovation and the lack of support on the federal end from the funding, uh, we were unable to do that, or they were unable to do that. We were fortunate to receive, or they were fortunate to receive approximately $2.15 million from the State Regional Economic Development Council to pursue the remediation environmental issues on the building and one uh, that was 500,000 and 1.65 million for other related projects to the development of the O&W uh, facility. That being said, um, they also applied for I believe 7.9 million through the federal government program called DISREP and um, we were hoping to hear, or they were hoping to hear in October and they just recently heard that that grant application was unsuccessful. Um, Senator Schumer was here also back then. We were talking about historic tax credits and uh, new market tax credits. But unfortunately, the increasing costs and the problems with the building being vacant for so long, the fire damage and all the other damage related to the building, um, it, it's not feasible to move ahead with that project. Uh, the historic renovation side of it is important to our community. We realize that. And we're going to continue to pursue working with Middletown Community Health Center, other options that could preserve possibly as much of the building as possible, but I, I don't want to mislead anyone who's interested in the historic part of it that uh, there is a possibility that the building will have to be demolished at some point if we're not successful. But that's just a building. What's more important is the, um, the reasons for the Middletown Community Health Center uh, purchasing the building, and that was to expand services and the health care indicators in this area are still very low. I believe there's an article in the paper today about Sullivan County being number two in the state, the worst health, health uh, indicators. So the mission of the Middletown Community Health Center um, had to move on. When there was an indication that we may not uh, be successful, um, Teresa, of course, as a good CEO would do, was started to look at other options and explore other opportunities for the health center. And one of those opportunities was to possibly come up here to the Horton campus and discuss with Toro College an opportunity to have a relationship between the Middletown Community Health Center in Toro within one facility. And that's what we're here today to announce is that they have put together a cooperative agreement, uh, an agreement to move forward and an agreement to hopefully work together, but I'll let them address the specifics of that. So I'll bring Teresa up first to um, to talk about uh, their plans and whatever she'd like to say about the other plans. Teresa. Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. We really appreciate your attendance. These are very important projects that we're talking about. Um, I would also, as well, like to introduce, I have a number of my staff with me, including Dr. Lanza, my medical director. I have a board member with me. Stephanie is here as well. And um, many of our staff, our clinical staff and our support st staff. 
Uh, the ONW project is very near and dear to Middletown. We've been holding on to it for a very long time. Not to say we're going to release it at this point. We're still going to explore options. But I must say, we have really explored many of grant opportunities. Uh, we have really thrown ourselves into the arena there, but, you know, unsuccessful at this point. But you never know what's going to happen going forward. The partnership with um, Toro has been wonderful. We have had their medical students come to our locations um, to do clinical rotations, which we want to continue. They are continuing. It's growing. Toro is a beautiful facility for our community, and we are very excited to partner with them. We are going to be taking over a nice portion of the building, which is obviously was a hospital, so the rooms are really big and expanded uh, services for uh, Middletown will be addressed here as well. We can bring on new programs. The buildings in Middletown that we might be um, vacating, we'll, use, uh, we'll repurpose them from other um, means. But uh, we are an expanding, growing organization. You know the healthcare arena is changing, the landscape is expanding, and we need to do our part to address some of the uh, needs and issues in our own community. And that, that's what we're doing by partnering with Toro. They have been wonderful partners, and um, we can't wait to come up here, as well as continue to stay in our community and expand the buildings that we have. Presently, we know that there's a lot of healthcare needs in the community. Um, you know, we have also just built a brand new dental van. We know dental is a big issue. Uh, we know that, um, you know, cardiology. And uh, as the mayor had said this morning, there was a great article on the news in reference to uh, the health of our community. You know, bordering communities being so unhealthy is something that we need to address as well. So. We, we are going to explore and, uh, you know, move on to different arenas and see where we can uh, address some of the needs. But one of the first things we need to do is to address the moving from the O&W focus at this point to Toro. So uh, we will be bringing you update timelines of how we're going to accomplish this, but at least we have some funding in place to do it. So we thank you again for your attendance, and I'm sure that I would like to also have maybe our medical director give you a little bit of insight of um, who we are and how we address some of the health care needs. Dr. Lanza. Hello, my name is Dr. Hi, I'm Dr. Lanza, I'm the medical director for Middletown Community Health Center. I'm also practicing in OBGYN. I've been in the community now for about six years, almost seven years. I started off as an OBGYN, and when the opportunity came to be the chief medical officer, I, I went ahead and took the chance. Even though I'm kind of young, I said, let me get involved in it because I really like community health. Middletown has really uh, grown over the past few years. Again, we are primary care based. We do internal medicine, pediatrics, uh, women's health. We do podiatry, dental, and uh, we also have a nutritionist, behavioral health, and then we're also working on expanding our behavioral health services to the community and in Port Jervis. We have about nine, 10 locations if you include our dental van and our administrative building. We do a lot of great work with Thoreau. Uh, we have their medical students come in, do their third year medical rotations with us. We have their first and second year uh, med students doing some uh, uh, clinical uh, following our providers also. And we're hoping to get a little bit more involved with the Thoreau Medical School as far as more clinical teaching. I think community health is a really plus for the students. A lot of students leave medical schools, leave medical schools basically learning more about um, uh, private practice, all they hear about is private practice. They don't really hear too much about community health. And community health is really where it's at because, again, we're all serving each other for one and we're trying to make a healthy, healthy community. We're doing a lot of uh, uh, screening programs. We're going to participate with the students with screening programs. We're going to participate with the students with emergency preparedness. And then hopefully the relationship will grow and it will be so, so well involved and convoluted that you'll be able to see it's almost going to be streamless between four programs. So I'm really looking forward to this. Tony Danza? I'm the real Tony Danza. <laughs> you know, it gives us an opportunity to make this property grow. Under it all is the land. This property serviced this community for 90 years with doctors and medical care. Now it's going into another stage. Teresa brings so much to the table. It creates jobs, it creates health care. We are working on the lease. Everything is agreed to, and I'm sure it's, gonna, it's going to happen. But things like this don't happen without the help of the Mayor DiStefano and Marie Bruni, the head of economic development. They pitch in. They're there to make it happen, and that's what makes this community grow. There was a possibility that this hospital was going to go vacant and be a big white elephant. 
or rather that's not going to happen. It's going to service this community for the next 90 years, I'm sure, especially with wonderful people like this and the wonderful people at Toro. Dr. Steyer, the founding dean, and Dr. Camerata, the chief operating officer, are amazing people, and they bring so much to the table and so much to this community. Just look forward. I think it's going to be something very special. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Dr. Camerata, say a few words. Thank you, Mayor, and uh, thank you, Tony. Uh, it sounds a little bit like the marriage today, and the reason why we're here is because it is Middletown Community Health Center and Toro College. Actually, we both will be tenants in this very, very beautiful building that Tony Danza has given us. And it is because of this building that we will be able to partner, and I think do outstanding things above and beyond what is already being done. And this is all happening because of our absolutely outstanding faculty that we have here. And without this faculty, our students would not have the competency that they are now providing the community uh, in the form of shadowing and in the form of doing their clinical rotations. We will be able to expand that by having the community health center here on campus. It will be a benefit to us, it will be a benefit to the community, and I think it will be a benefit to demonstrate how a facility like this can grow and how through a marketing program we actually can expand it with even other kinds of resources uh, that can be developed to serve uh, this community. So it's a great time for Turo today, a great time for the Horton Complex, and I hope it's a great time for the people of Middletown to re-experience the repurposing of this building and the great things that we are doing now and the great things that we can do in the future. So thank you, Mr. Mayor, and thank you, Tony. Before, before questions, I believe it's about 40,000 square feet you'll be taking? Yeah. So it's about a 40,000 square foot. Is it the Camillo? No. The Camillo section, which was right over here to, uh, to our left. So any questions that, for any of us? Yes, James. So how many, uh, approximately, how many employees from Middletown Community Health Center will be moving to Toro? Uh, well, right now we're still working out the plans of the details, but, you know, the majority of the staff that already work at the locations we have will be moving up here, and we'll expand and uh, hire new staff as well, because this space is much larger than where we are at present. How many new staff? Just ballpark? Um, I'm, I'm not really sure. So, well, do you have, like, a, do we say? I, I'm not, I can't really say for sure, because at the two locations right now, we bring them up, and then I, I'd rather really have to um, do a little bit more. How much of your operation? Uh, right now, we're going to be moving up, uh, I believe it's probably 15,000 or 20, I'd say 20,000 square feet of space that's going to be vacated and brought up here. Should I say the space already existing space is really good to utilize. We're going to be doing a lot of um, basic renovations and you know putting in an HVAC system as well as just upgrading. Uh, the room space is already going to stay dedicated the way it is, uh, but we'll be modernizing a lot of the space. Where would you hope to move in? Um, the timeline for that we're still working out because we're still been finalizing the lease. By the end and, of the year. Um, I would say mm, I really don't want to commit to a time yet because you know things happen and things change and. Um, but, you know, it, it should be ra rather quickly, I would say. What services uh, do you want to specifically move We're going to be moving up here. All of our primary care services that we do in Middletown at present, the only thing that's going to stay is dental. But we do have uh, the OB department, the internal medicine and pediatrics, as well as we have podiatry. Um, and, uh, you know, anything else that we can uh, address up here and put into the space. But it's a beautiful space for us to expand into. Are you going to be using the state funds that you've already been awarded to, to make this change for Toro as opposed to O and W now? Is that how uh, we're, we're working with the state right now to figure out how we can um, utilize some of the funding for both sites, not only just for here. So that has to be authorized by the state? Uh, they have to finalize the budget. It's already been approved, the funding, but we have to finalize the budget because we're going to re-budget. doing anything with the O and W rail uh, station at this point? Is there any have any way to salvage what 
We're, we're really still exploring that. We're, you know, Middletown will not give up on the O&W building. We love that building. We know it's a beautiful building. It's been here in the community for so long. And uh, believe, uh, you know, believe me, as the CEO of the organization, we have tried and explored every avenue possible to try, as well as work with the mayor and, and the community leaders. I can't tell you how much support we've received. But unfortunately, we didn't get it at this point. But we're not giving up. You know, we don't give up that easily. We've been here for over 40 years in the community and uh, serving the most needy population, you know, that's not easy. So we don't give up on them, we're not gonna give up on our city. Is there, can that building remain standing at this point? Is it deteriorating to a point where it's a danger at all? Oh, uh, no, 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 we have it fenced in. It's, you know, safe for those that, go, that might go near it. Uh, we purposely fenced it off so that nobody can go near it. Uh, but we do monitor it, we, we, we make sure that we have staff go by and make sure that there's nothing, debris that has fell down, remove it and we take care of the landscape that needs to be as well. So at this point, you plan to retain that building? It's gonna stay there for now. And you, with your ownership? Yes. Any other questions? Again, we thank you so much for coming and uh, we, we are really looking forward to coming up here to Toro. Thank you.